Let's look at this example here. The relation between set P and Q. This is set P and set Q here are represented by an arrow diagram. So you can see here, A is an object, B is an object, and C is an object. The image for A is G. The image for B is E, and the image and the image for C is G. You may notice that. F and H are not image. For part A, we need to find the domain. Very simple. Domain is actually the set P. This is set P. This is set Q. Domain equal to the set of A, B, and C. So、uh, what is our codomain? Codomain is the set Q. So codomain equal to the set of E, F, G, and H. Section B here, the range of the relation. Remember, the range is the group of the image. So what's the image here? E and G. So the range is the set of E and G. So you can see here, the range actually is a subset of the codomain. That means the range definitely is inside the codomain. So for C now, we have to define the type of relation. So look at it carefully. You can see that. That is two object A and C maps to only one image on the G. If you have two object maps to the same image, this should be a many to one relation. So you just write there many to one. So you can see this is a very simple, straightforward paper one questions, and you shouldn't miss any marks here.